hello guys and welcome again to another video by mr malaji te in today's video i want to show you how you can uh, include the early payment terms and how you can change uh, the account access of uh, a bank a cash book so you will be using this example on this example we are told that uh, the company purchased 153 enamel paints from outland manufacturers invoice s014 uh, was received and the early payment discounts included on the invoice so i want to show you how you can include this early payment uh, discounts in the invoice then again we'll uh, learn how to change the account access of a, a, a cash book so we'll be changing the account access of kptech receipts to any access so let's just go ahead and do that on pastel then what we'll have to do is to go first to process so we know that the person is a supplier because we are purchasing the goods from that person then we'll take the supplier invoice then search for the supplier then the supplier is outland manufacturers then we are being warned about the date it's okay we'll go in, we are going to change that shortly then we go to the date we are told that uh we purchased uh this one 53 enamel paints from outland manufacturers and what we can see that uh we, we are not given the date on when the transaction occurred but know that uh in you will be given the date on when the transaction occurred so if let's say for example in our example here because i did not include the date there let's just assume uh, that it's on the 5th of may 2013 so we'll just go and the date is 5th of may 05 may 2013 then the supplier invoice we are given the invoice here as si014 so we'll go there and include si014 then tab then you can see that uh, we are told that we received uh this invoice and we we received again the early payment discounts so which early payment discounts are, are they talking about is uh if you can just place the cursor if you can just place this cursor on top of terms you will see that on top of terms you will see that there is a uh, a little tab that pops out of that and it's four percent within 20 days from period end so the discounts will they just take this four percent that appears when we place the case at there and then put it just right for on the discount so we, we we included the early payment discounts then there we will change okay so you can see that it does not allow us to select uh, an item code but remember when doing uh, when purchasing inventory you have to put uh, the item code there and then search for these uh, inventory items so since it does not allow us to do uh, to, to select the inventory code the item code there so we'll just uh, demonstrate so if we are, you are required to create uh, this kind of transaction and include the early terms you just have to know that you will you'll go to terms and then find the percentage discount and then take the discount and put it on discount percentage there then on the type you have to select the item code which does not appear right now uh, so but then if you are requested to do this just know that the, the on the type you have to create to select the item code and then on the code it will be the the inventory code 
description it will be given to you then the quantity you will put that 153 which is this one here you will put this 153 on the quantity and then remember for customers you will be given uh, the, the price so it's irrelevant for you to click on inclusive or exclusive you can just leave that you can tick it you can untick it so it does not make any difference because you'll be given the price already then you'll have to go to the next line and then update on batch then you will be done just like that and then the second part we are told that we have to change the account access of Capitec receipts to any access so how can we do that to change the account access of uh, a cash book you have to go to setup you have to go to setup and then auto setup then you will be required to enter a password then the password is then after pushing up after putting a, a password there you will see that uh, this uh, setting screen uh, pops up then you have to click on the next this button up there you click on next you click again on next next then when you get to this uh, uh, screen where you can set up the entry types uh, of uh, a company then you'll have to go to KP Tech receipts remember we are told that we, we should get, change the account access of KP Tech receipts so here's the KP Tech receipts we'll go to account access then click on the drop down arrow and then select whichever uh, whichever on those five options four options there we have to select the any account so we are told that okay change the account access of capitec receipts to any account so you can see that when we entered into here, in here it was a general ledger right so you have to click on the drop down arrow you can see there is any access any account so you click on any account then you click ok then you, you cancel this screen then you are done with doing that so remember in this video we was we were uh, uh, we included the early payment discounts on the invoice by placing the case on the terms and then finding the discount percentage and taking it and putting it on the invoice then the second one was changing the account access of capitec to any access so you have to you just have to click on setup entry types then uh, go to capitec receipts and then change the account access to any account there so before you can leave please click the subscribe button below uh, to help me uh, in uh, grow this channel